Abby, keep your radio close. I'll stay in touch if I find anything. Sounds good. And watch your ass in there. You can count on that. Need to open the gate. The gas is on. This architecture is definitely Maya. Must be a so way strange. to get across. Why would my grandma want me to know about this place? Must be a way to get across. way to get across. <laughs> Must be a way to get across. way to get across. <laughs> Must be a way to get across. Looks like this bridge works like the last one. <laughs> Got to be a way to swing that pendulum over here. Be a way to swing that pendulum over here. Behind this pendulum come? could be climb. If I had to guess, I'd say this place is a massive forge. But on this scale, what would they be forging that would require this kind of heat? Sorry, I'm not going to be much help to you there. The wall behind this pendulum could be climbed.
behind this pendulum could be climbed. The wall behind this pendulum could be climbed. Doesn't make any sense. The wall behind this pendulum could be climbed. If I had to guess, I'd say this place is a massive forge. But on this scale, what would they be forging that would require this kind of heat? Sorry, I'm not gonna be much help to you there. Doesn't make any sense. The wall behind what this pendulum happened? could be climbed. If I had to guess, I'd say this place is a massive forge. But on this scale, what would they be forging that would require this kind of heat? Sorry, I'm not gonna be much help to the you there. The wall behind this pendulum could be climbed. There are statues here, huge faces arranged in a circle around a central column. They're watching over it like sentinels. But what are they guarding? You have a view These that I don't. These platforms look just like those now bridges. I wish I came with you. <laughs> That's the same bucket as on the pendulums. These platforms look just like those bridges. Platforms look just like those bridges.
That gas head probably works like the one at the entrance. Need to go back down to bring the platform back up. Another explosion would raise the platform. should go back up. Abby, I found a note. It was written by your grandmother. She confesses to killing a man to protect herself and the village. She calls him the missing man from Porvenir. Does that mean anything to you? When I was a little kid, there... there was a search. One of the workers disappeared. The platform should go back we up. Shortly after that, the last of the oil dried up, and Orvenir left. <gasps> grandma... killed that guy. My grandma. I don't think she had a choice. Another explosion would raise the platform. must raise the petals. There must be a way to reach that path. Those must raise the petals.
Looks like the right way. The switch must be nearby. Looks like a place to cross. Looks like a place to cross. Way to that switch. like a place to cross. Abby, I've got your grandmother's journal here. It's... she's written to you. Looks like a place to cross. You, you can't leave me hanging like that. Go on, what does it say? The short of it? You're a descendant of the Maya Queen Abarane on your grandmother's side. You're the latest in a long line of protectors that looks like a place to what? cross. Queen Navarrani. Grandma is related to a Maya queen. Wait, I'm related to a Maya queen? <laughs> yes. You're a guardian from what your grandmother said. It looks like a place to cross. What does that mean? I, I'm not even Maya. I... This day has gotten way too heavy. Bilar's got a lot of explaining to do. Look up, Abby. I found a mural depicting a great journey. A Maya queen leading thousands of her people from Mexico to Peru. Why did she lead them here? There are many theories about what happened to the Maya. There are old favorites. Invasion, civil war, collapsing trade routes. But one theory has become very popular. That the Maya civilization was ultimately doomed by a period of severe climate change. 
She was probably leading them out of a decade-long drought. So, where'd they all go? One more spin should get the platform to the top. <laughs> There's a sarcophagus here. It's beautiful. Death made it. A sarcophagus? Like a coffin? Exactly like a coffin. I thought it was a forge. Whoever is buried here, they were very closely tied to this place and its purpose. All full up. Can't carry any more. 
I've got some stuff to trade if you're looking. How are you? See anything that you like? A good deal for both of us. Excellent choice. Pleasure doing business with you. You found the hidden place? It was a forge. But something more as well. Yes. It is the resting place of the Maya Queen Abarrane, the first guardian of Kuakyaku. She built the forge to construct an artifact of great power. What artifact? Uh, I don't know. Mariana told me that what was born from that place had long been lost, but she said the message it contained would always endure. It was a message of hope for the future. If you knew about all this, why wouldn't you tell me? I'm sorry, but I made a promise to Mariana. So what? I'm supposed to accept that I'm Maya all of a sudden? Abarrane's bloodline has been diluted over the centuries, but you are descended from her. So what does this mean? You're a guardian, Abigail. Like Mariana and her mother before her, all the way back to the time of Abarrane. <laughs> I can't be a guardian. I have responsibilities here. I've... You've been protecting this village for years. Hasn't a little bit of you always known? Felt, compelled, somehow. You are the keeper of the story now. That's what Grandma used to say. She said it was her job to keep its story. To keep it safe. She promised that one day she would show me where it was. And then I'd be the keeper of its story. She didn't forget her promise. She just had a different way of showing you. It's so like her, isn't it? She couldn't just tell me. Had to make a treasure hunt out of it. <sighs> I loved your grandmother as if she was my own sister. But sometimes she was a gigantic pain in the ass. Abby, I think I'll leave you two alone to talk about things. Sounds like you've got some catching up to do. Thanks, Lara. Here. I want you to have this for all your help. And before you say anything, it's customary, so you kind of can't say no. Thank you. All full up. Can't carry any more. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more.
All full up. Can't carry any more. I don't have enough space for that. All full up. Can't carry any more. have enough space for that. I don't have enough space for that.
all full up. Can't carry any more. It can't be an illusion. It has to be. Ah, sí. 
all full up. Can't carry any more. How do you do? Welcome. Very good. Come back soon. I have some ice. Good day. Look what I have for you. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. May the gods smile upon you. <clears throat> You're here during a busy time, friend. The tanners, the boots. The weavers, the dyers. Sit in Sassan. To my map, what to dine will again? Till a witch. Get sick at two pool. This describes something nearby. Seven golden birds perched here and there. One escaped to the trees with his treasure, dropped from his talons. I'm waiting for you.
Sì. Ok, ma sono malati. Found you. Hello? Peace goes at me. Ah, did he? Did you say you were cast out for lying? No, Ishiki. I was cast out for telling the truth. That was my mistake. What happened? Should I say I've never seen an outsider? If no one believes the truth, it never happened. What outsiders? They dress in black and have strange weapons. They hide gold. I told the cult about the gold and the outsiders. They cast me out for lying. Lying? The gold was for them. One day, the cult will be exposed for its hypocrisy. So what do you do now? I lost everything, Ishiki. My position, power, reputation. But it took me losing all that to finally see. I had no purpose, no calling. And you found one? Yes. I serve the future by protecting the past. Queen Unuratu's line are the rightful rulers of Paititi, not the cult of Kukulkan. Everything I see, everything I hear, everything I know, now helps the rebellion. A worthy cause. I send people to steal the gold shipments the outsiders deliver from time to time. They never change the drop-off point. Sounds like you're making a difference in a lot of people's lives. Thank you for sharing. It was nice talking with you. You too, Ishiki. Unurato and her rebels are the true sons and daughters of Paititi, if you're asking. I'm not the Where is my mother? 
She's settling matters between the guards and Hakan. What's it like outside by Didi? Well, a lot of things. It's a very big world. Bigger than Paititi? <laughs> Bigger than 100 Paititis. What? Will you take me there? I think your mother might have something to say about that. <clears throat> what you're looking for is in there. How will I know when I found the right chamber? By the smell of death. If you survive, you can find your way back through the old irrigation system. I'll meet you there. Be careful. The cult often patrols there. A ceremonial whistle used during human... <laughs> Come to plunder, outsider. Catrupul, 
Maleti le jabob le gel. Ya si lo ve yete, cookie me sajó. Why capybara? Hello. Are you an outcast? Yes, Ishiki. Hello. I heard you talking about a white capybara. Oh, not just one. There are many of them. Pisco sent me to speak to all those who are cast out. You're a hunter. I am now. I was once a farmer, but that wasn't the life for me. I felt trapped. Forced to live up to the duties and expectations brought down by my family. I finally refused and went my own way. And a white capybara was responsible? No, Ishiki. A herd of them. One night they assaulted my field. Trampled everything, but I did nothing to stop them. I just watched. They gave me an idea. A herd of these capybara, all white. What if I could hunt them? What if I could finally get away from the fields? So you did it? Best decision I ever made. My father disowned me, gave the farm to my sister, but that's fine with me. I'm a hunter now. They call me Paimo the White. <laughs> Thank you for the entertaining story, Paimo. Thank you, Ishiki. My wife is very ill, as are many others. A sickness brought by the outsiders. Someone should do something. Hello, Ishiki. Beautiful animal. Hello. Are you one of the outcasts? Yes, Ishiki. I'm Chaska. I'm Lara. Pisco sent me. Pisco the dead? Sent you to me? Did you lose a game of Patoli? No. A boy Taki lost his dice. I'm trying to win them back for him. Pisco wanted me to talk to all those who've been cast out before he gives them back to me. I'm surprised he didn't try to play you for them. He is. Ah, well, all I can tell you is this. Like Pisco, I was cast out. I lost my job and my position. But not because of an accident, because of something I did and would do again. What happened? Do you have any children? No. Neither do I. I did not receive the blessing of Ishel. But for my mistress, I was the midwife for her three children. I loved them like they were my own, until I lost my position. What did you do? I'm a thief, Lara. What did you steal? A jade necklace. Why? The youngest, Kiara, she saw the necklace while visiting a friend. She took it. They were coming for her. They would have cast her out. She was an only child. I said I took it. My mistress took the necklace from me and threw it on the floor, breaking it. And cast me out instead. I'm so sorry. Don't be sad for me. I would do it again. Kiara's learned her lesson and she has a good life. As for me, I serve Ishel now through my weaving, the way my mother taught me. And my Kiara comes to visit me sometimes. Thank you for sharing that, Chaska. Kiara was lucky to have you. Be well, Ishiki. <laughs> <laughs> 